This is an extreme wide shot. This is a very wide shot. This is a wide shot. This is a medium shot. This is a medium close-up shot. This is a close-up shot. This is an extreme close-up. For most speeches, a medium close-up shot is best. This kind of framing shows your face very clearly for the audience without getting uncomfortably close. Now, how should you position yourself in the frame? First, you want to make sure that you level the lens, the lens you're using to record your camera, with your eyes. Why? If the lens is positioned so that the audience is looking down at you, it's going to make you look less powerful, like when an adult looks down at a child or a dog. And if the lens is positioned so we're looking up at you, it'll make you look overbearing and maybe even unapproachable. The best way to connect with the audience is to make sure your lens is level with your eyes. You can, again, use books or other tricks to change your height or the height of your phone or your camera. You want to make sure first that you have plenty of head room. It's awkward when your head is cut off and it's distracting. Make sure you have a few inches here. You can try again putting a few books under your recording device or your computer, or you can try a different chair so that you're actually lower. What you really want is to position yourself within the frame so that you make use of the powerful rule of thirds. What is the rule of thirds? The rule of thirds is a way of dividing the screen into a grid, a tic-tac-toe board, if you will. Anywhere lines intersect will be the areas that the audience eyes are most drawn to. Try to position yourself at one of these intersections. Finally, make sure there isn't anything distracting in your frame. The last thing you want is for your audience to be looking at something besides you. Taking time to frame a good speech video can make a big difference in how your audience sees you. Good framing it can really boost your credibility.